is... Right, so I, I was asked to to um, to come and, and speak a bit today, and, and um, I I will I will be talking about like the I suppose the bridging the gap between our 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 big data and our our, our, our supposedly our analytics or our reporting side, and and, and then the, the the gap to the to the business where where I'd say today we we're, we're storing and stockpiling a lot of data, but but how do we how do we Transfer that out in, into the business. So, so a couple of thoughts. Um, very welcome to, to you know start start discussion, start fires. That's typically what I try to do. So uh, so please please uh, do feel free. Um, so so today I, I want to focus on a, a couple of things. Just want to give you some perspectives from from me on what are some of the emerging forces that I'm seeing in, in the big data uh, area. So just what are the things that we eBay as a, as a company uh, are are running into. Um, but then quickly going over to so what are the business questions that then need to be answered because we talk a lot about the, the technical sides but but the business doesn't always care about technicalities right so uh, so that that's an area I'll, I'll, I'll talk about and and certainly know is are we are we discussing a, a need we have or are we discussing just an ability we have uh, to to execute and maybe there's an opportunity for for the IT community, uh, community and, the, and the CIO to, to take some action that no one else seems to be doing. So that's just kind of, you know, very quickly what, what I, I want to talk about. So, so, so first of all, you know, from an from a eBay um, perspective, I think, you know, we are being driven at large by our, our consumers, right? So we have such a large use base and they are expecting to be able to see so much. You know, th you know we look at that, Various different solutions. When you're logging into eBay to, to, to my eBay, you, you know you want to be able to see your transaction histories. You want to be able to see your purchase histories. You want to be able to see the sellers you've interacted with, the feedback on your items, the feedback on the sellers. You're just expecting to be able to almost click on any single hyperlink and getting more data. So, so for us, a lot of that is, is stuff you know we we need to to serve up, and it's it's a dual-edged sword. There's there's some of it that's in the interest of of the the customer to work with, and then uh, the other side is is what are, what are we interested in sharing, and also can we get the the customer to to work for us? So so use their demand uh, for knowledge to give us something back. Um, they th there's also an expectation that today you can contribute in in any any you know given data you're looking at. You're expecting to be able to click in and say, well, I I like this, I want to do this, I want to do that. Um, so manipulating what you're seeing, adding editing, is, is something that we're certainly seeing a whole lot of. It's no longer a, well, here's a company, and we're going to serve you websites and data, and then you're just going to absorb whatever we're giving you. Uh, it's no longer a one-way street. Uh, and if, if we don't believe that, all we have to do is go out on the forums and the blogs, and then surely someone is speaking back a lot. Um, so so there's, there's a large expectation that that we can have contributions from our customers and, and uh, you know, preferably on site where we see it. Um, we use the term uh, Lomo So as, as kind of a, you know, location based is for us very, very big now. Where is the person when they're interacting with us? So both from a selling perspective, we're very interested in, in understanding, well, if you, know, you want to buy something, if I know where the inventory is and I know your location, I can connect dots, right? Do you want to buy something that's right around the corner or do you, are you willing to wait three days and get it for lower cost? Um, so lo location-based information is key, right? I don't want to present you information that has to do with a completely different place in the world if it's not relevant to you. Um, mobile, I think, you know, we, we've, we've covered in a lot of different working groups. Of course, it's a, it's a huge thing. I'm, I am almost, uh, um, I am God at home for my kids. As long as I have a, a, a device in my hand, I have access to all the information in the world. And, uh, and my children still have not understood that it's not me that knows it, it's the, <laughs> it's the device. So <laughs> let's, let's stay in that dream. But it's just, it's, it's, it's the being able to access information and of course, in, insert information. Uh, and you know, social is, is what it is. But at large, it's that, I want to be able to add a comment. I mean, when have I last looked at a picture on the net and I not just scroll down to see what are the comments? Now, sometimes the comments aren't there, but it's, it's, a, it's an idea of being able to say, well, 
Someone put this up, but someone else must have had an opinion somewhere along the line. I see a product, I want to see a review. But all of this is just data being generated. Um, and, and then, you know, our first challenge is, <laughs> right, so where do we, where do we put it, right? Uh, stockpiling was, was our, our first challenge. Um, and and I, we had some space issues, uh, you know, building up small data warehouses, small storages. Um, but quite frankly, more importantly, we started running out of the people to manage all of these things, which is where, you know, I suppose the big, big data has many different challenges, but one of them first was just getting everyth when everything in the same place where you're managing it in a, it w you know, leveraging economies of scale. Uh, I think the people part there was, was, was absolutely critical. Um, regional offices, business units, our stuff is special. It's, a, it's one language versus another. Piling everything together was, was certainly a, a challenge and saying we can put it in one, one big place. <coughs> and likewise, you know, at, a, at, our, at our absolute accept level, it's, it's looking at, well, you know, we have all these different properties. We got eBay, Tradera, Gidigidior in, in Turkey. We have all these different properties and we do want to, at a certain level, understand what, well, what can we compare and what can we not. So, so there was this drive for making sure that we had, we had data stored in a place where we at least could, could pull it out in, in, in a comparative mode. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that for us has led to when the technology was developed, let's migrate to that. And that was great and that could store and scale and then all of a sudden some other um, uh, solutions came to market that could cope with something else and then we went over there. So we've kind of been migrating and migrating and migrating, and, you know, in, in the CRM world that would be, you know, moving from one application to another to another. Uh, just discussing with Lars here, now we're, Oracle is asking us to move to uh, uh, Exadata and, you know, we, we've just we've been around the block, if you will, um, depending on the technology developing. Um, my core point here, though, is about, you know, where, where we're putting it is a technical problem. Uh, it's nice it's a problem because problems can be solved, um, but it's just technical and that's why I want to kind of uh, swiftly move along. Um, not that it's not important, it's just for me not entirely all that interesting. <laughs> that's a, a statement. Um, then after, so, so our storage problems get, get, get solved along the way and then we start talking about well, how, do we, how do we process it? So our user base gets tired of seeing, well, you know, this, I'm seeing these reports coming out of, you know, you know uh, a micro strategy and I got this out of, you know, business subjects and I'm, I'm seeing all these things and some of it is still in, in Excel pivot tables and I want to, I want to be able to see a, a, and a process a stream that is somewhat consistent across countries, business units, you know, telecoms, you name it. So, so we certainly had, you know, Challenges to go through in terms of unifying all of that. But a lot of it, at least in eBay, was a, was a customer saying, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I, what I want to see, right? Can you show me this? Can you show me that? Can your system do this? Can you pull that? Um, which is great. It's, it's nice to have an interaction with the business, if you will. Um, but sometimes, so to Steve Jobs' point around launching the iPhone, sometimes the customer actually doesn't necessarily know what they want until you until you give it to them. So it's a it's a it's a point to note that the the I want to see approach is is it puts a, a an information organization in a constant reactive mode, serving storage needs, serving reporting needs, serving that kind of view. Um, that's great. That ensures job security, I suppose. But you know, there's there's another side to that that I want to get to. Um, also running into when we talk about processing very, very big data at scale is, you know, we're, we're running into size limitations. I think nowadays we're kind of past the size limitation of our, of our data tables and our processing and, you know, CPUs and RAM and all that kind of stuff. You know, we're, we're building huge warehouses of, of, of processing power, not just eBay, but everyone. So we've solved some of that, but then we're running into another, another limitation in, in the humans that the humans that are able to manage this, the humans that are able to, to, in their mind, process the work they need to process and design um, what needs to be executed. So this is ultimately, I think, uh, you know, our, we, we can develop our systems to maintain our data, but at some point there's a human who's going to have to plug into that, which still has, you know, the, the limited bandwidth that we as, as humans have. 
uh, insofar as, as, as processing today, it still is a, a technical problem for us to solve. We still have sharp minds that are focusing on the, on the technical side, if you will, of, of our data challenges. But then there's, there's these other questions, and, and I look a lot at, you know, is this a demand we have, or is it just growth? So data is growing, and a lot of data today is being created by data, by pure usage is generating, you know, tables and tables of data that's just coming. I don't know if we need it. We have been able to capture it, and that's great. I mean, clickstream data is such a, it's a great example, right? People are clicking, and they're clicking and they're clicking, and I, I can assure you on, on eBay.com, they're clicking a lot. So surely we have a lot of, of click data. I, I'm not sure we have a strong demand for all of it from our internal point of view, but we're certainly growing it. So I think there's, there's a rationale that, that is missing, a, a rational approach to what, what of this big data should, should, be, should be stored and what is, is the stuff that we simply don't have a business use for. I don't know about you, but I've, I've, I've often heard it you know, coming across, oh, we have, a, we have all the best data in the world, but we just aren't tapping into it. I don't know if that's a statement you've ever heard, but um, I hear that. Um, the other side about all that as well, so right, are we, are we reporting on this or are we really analyzing it? So the intelligence aspect, and there's been a couple of workshops I've been in today where, where discussion has been a lot about, well, you know, yes, this is, this is intelligence. It's producing new dots on a run chart every week or a new pie chart every week. But that's, again, it's reporting. So I'm, I'm looking for, for true intelligence. I'm looking at causation. I'm looking for fit models. I'm looking for you know, proper regression tests, stuff that will tell me exactly what, what is in here. So f in the CRM world, for example, it be, be very, very important for me to understand exactly which factors of my, my customer base really ties to purchases, ties to escalations, ties to whatever, really. Um, and I'm not... I'm not necessarily seeing our business intelligence solutions being much more than new dots on a chart. A mm -hmm. little bit controversy there, if I'm talking to some of the companies out here that are trying to sell me stuff, but um, nonetheless. Um, and then that the, the, the next point I want to make is in around holistic views of, of, of data. So I got a customer service organization that's gathering a whole lot of customer service data. And I got a, a uh, account management and sales organization that are gathering a whole lot of sales data. But sometimes what we're looking for is bigger than the group and the department we're in. So we've got a department that's looking and saying, well, I want to know, you know, wh whatever business problem they're solving. Now I look to what data have I collected around that? The well, question is, well, maybe, maybe we need to look in someone else's, someone else's drawers. Um, and so the example I, was, I, I made earlier this morning around, you know, can an R&D department not learn a whole lot from the customer service data set? Arguably, um, the, the, real, the real problems with the product are seen when it ships. Um, and, and then the, the, the science behind it, right? So, so information, bits and bobs, ones and zeros is great, but I, I, I want to talk specifically about context as well. We, we are lacking context. We're lacking systems that incorporate the context directly in. A um, couple of points to, to make there. Oh look, I'm wanted elsewhere. <laughs> right. Um, and then last, you know, is, is all this effort, is it worth it? So, so who is accountable for what? So, so far, you know, again, maybe a bit of controversy, but when we, when we talk about big data, you know, who as, as a CEO, we can finally look and say, hey, more, more budget. Uh, you know, we're, Let's uh, let's buy some racks and let's get some some data stored in there. But you know, essentially, what's what's worth what of all that data? What is the true value, and is it worth storing it? Um, it costs a lot to run data sets or, or data centers. Of course, it does. Um, so these are some of the, the the questions that that I'm looking at, which ties a little bit more to to the the business side, and thinking, well, you know, is my customer really is, are their needs being met, and do they know what what they want? Um, so, so what I'm looking for as a key need is I'm looking for a transformation of, uh, you know, from information to knowledge. And what I mean about that is really, you know, the data, 
and adding the context. Good example would be today's weather report and yesterday's weather report. It's weather reports. It's, it's just data around, you know, the precipitation, the wind speed and all that good stuff. That's, that's, that's data. It's, it's information. 